The Zimbabwean embassy in Senegal has been availed with more land to spearhead the production of white maize in a diplomatic show of food security initiatives that the continent is putting in place. The development comes at the back of a successful initial experimental crop of white maize embarked on by Zimbabwe's ambassador to Senegal, James Maridati, two years ago. Ambassador Maridati started the initiative after realizing that most of the staple food in the countries he covers, which includes Senegal, Guinea, Mali, Guinea-Bissau, Cape Verde, and Gambia, was imported and hence expensive. He was initially working on a 5-hectare piece of land in Dakar, Senegal, which has largely been successful. This has led to the Senegalese government now allocating the ambassador a 20-hectare plot and they are now also working with government officials to see how they can further boost maize production in Senegal at a large scale and also considering working with a Zimbabwe seed house in the project. Speaking on the sidelines of the Dakar 2 Feed Africa Summit, Ambassador Maridati said the whole project started off as an experiment at a small scale, but it has since had positive results. What happened is that when I initially came here, I realized that they don't do white maize in this region, they do yellow maize, which is mostly for stock feed and they import about 160 million US dollar worth of white maize to subsidize their consumption. I then approached the Ministry of Agriculture in Senegal, where I got 5 hectares of land to do an experiment on white maize production. I got seed from Zimbabwe, I bought fertilizer here in Senegal, and did the 5 hectares and the results were amazing said AMB Maridati. He said the results of the initial 5-hectare experiment had been so resounding that he organized a field day which was attended by the Senegalese government and local commercial and subsistence farmers.